Over the last few days, we've been exploring Vermont for the first time. We've learned about maple syrup, biked around Burlington, enjoyed fall activities in Stowe, and hiked through fog to the highest point in the state, Mount Mansfield. And for our final Vermont adventure, we've driven to an area called the Northeast Kingdom to spend a day hiking near Lake Willoughby, the second deepest lake in Vermont. We are starting off our day here at Lake Willoughby by hiking the Mount Pisgah Trail. Mount Pisgah is one of the peaks that kind of towers over Lake Willoughby and there are two different ways to get up there, but we're taking the South Trail, which is about 4.1 miles round trip and over 1,600 feet of elevation gain. When we got here this morning, it was super foggy and the peak was totally covered. So we're a little nervous this is gonna be a total bust, but I think it's clearing up a bit and we're just gonna hope it's not like our last video. <laughs> We made it to the first overlook on the trail, which is about halfway up and check it out. We've got views. The fog is kind of rolled out a little bit, still a little bit lingering there, but that adds a little mystical touch to it. But there's some sun, there's some shade. You can see all the fall foliage popping through, the watercolor, heck yeah. This area gets the name Northeast Kingdom from a former US Senator and Governor named George Aiken who loved this area so much and thought it should be a kingdom. And I totally agree. This place is so breathtaking, literally and figuratively. <laughs> Whew, this hike's steep. <laughs> Something super interesting about this trail is that it was created in the 1850s as a bridal path for in guests to be able to access the mountain vistas. And then in the 1930s, the CCC came in and improved it to make it accessible for hiking. But this trail is 171 years old, or parts of it are. Wow. <laughs> To your right. Oh my. Oh, look to your left. Oh, oh yeah, to your it. right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, this is unreal. I can see why you would think kingdom because like there's those open valleys there of just yeah. you know grassland with like big stands of trees and hills and mountains and this might be my favorite place we've been to in vermont so, so far. far yeah me too <sighs> This exposed rock along the mountain mixed with the trees and the fall colors 
is absolutely unreal. After our fail of a hike the other day, I cannot wipe the smile off my face. This is, look how orange the top of that mountain is. So that spot we were just at is where the All Trails Trail ends. And we here, if you keep going to the north overlook, the views get even better. Not sure how that's possible, but we're gonna go and find out. Yeah, this view is pretty amazing too. This one's a little bit more exposed, so you can see kind of more of both sides. But you definitely gotta check out both. This one's only a minute or two walk from the other one, so. Better makes it better. And hummus makes it yummus. So there are two main beaches at Lake Willoughby. The North Beach, which is much bigger, and it's kind of this like crescent shape, tons of sand, a good beach to lay out at. And then there's the South Beach, which is more of like a boat launch cove type area, but has such a dramatic view. And the South Beach is really close to the trail we just did, so we came here to have a picnic. So we made a Greek salad with steak in the van, and then we also made a wild Zora soup. And this is pumpkin because it's fall, otherwise known as pumpkin season. <laughs> Very chilly fall day. So Lake Willoughby was carved out by glaciers and with the cliffs surrounding it, it looks like a Norwegian fjord. We've never been to Norway, but it's what I envisioned it would kind of look like, maybe on a smaller scale. The first time I ever saw a photo of Lake Willoughby, I just couldn't believe that this was in Vermont. As we mentioned before, it's the second deepest lake in Vermont, second only to Lake Champlain, but this is over 320 feet deep in some places, but it is the deepest lake that is contained entirely in Vermont. We were gonna kayak, but if you can't tell right now, it's really windy and it's cold and yeah. the wave, it's kind of choppy and yeah. that's not a good mix with the inflatable kayak. So uh, I think we're just gonna go sit in the warm van. <laughs> For our final adventure of the day, we are hiking the Bald Mountain Trail. It's about 4.2 miles with a little over 1,400 feet of elevation gain, and it takes you to a fire lookout. We're a little over halfway through the trail and so far it's been a pretty nice trail. It's uphill basically the whole time but the terrain of the trail makes it pretty easy to move at a quick pace but we hear as you get closer to the fire lookout it gets very very steep. We made it to the fire tower, climbing up, ridiculous views. Oh 
Oh my gosh. This is the tallest fire tower we've ever been in. Yeah. It was kind of scary getting up. Kona didn't love it. But the views are unreal and the fall colors are just popping off. Yeah. This is whew, incredible. This is view with the sun about to set. That fire tower was so much fun. A little bit stressful though because the stairs up to it were very steep and then to get into the, I don't know what you call it, vestibule up at the top, the, the, the way into it was very tight to get up in there but man, once you get up in there, it was amazing views. There's also a little cabin there that you can stay in and it's first come first serve and this family that was staying there, they got there maybe a half an hour before us so we should have, you always gotta be prepared. You gotta bring a sleeping bag, everything. We could have stayed, that would have been fun. Today was the best day we've had since being here in New England. We've had the best views, the best fall foliage. It's just, it, it was so gorgeous. And we've been just, I can't even talk because it's just, <laughs> wow. We've been smiling all day and our entire time in Vermont though has just been spectacular. I knew I'd really love it here in Vermont, but I didn't know I would love it this much. My expectations were like blown out of the water. The views were way better. The towns are super cute and just quaint and the people are really nice. There's tons of sweet treats, lots of creamies. <laughs> it's just been, just love it here. We say this all the time that we'll be back to some pl a place, yeah. but we really, we really will. Uh, we I gotta will be, come back here. We will be back, but we have to continue our New England road trip east. And next up we are exploring the White Mountains in New Hampshire. As I read, it was called the Northeast Kingdom because of its splendor. This is splendid. Is that a word? Splendous. Splendous. Splen Stupendous. Splendiful. <laughs> Stupendous. Splendiferous. Every time Kona hears the beep of the record button, she decides to make a ton of noise. Now, do you see it? Heck yeah, I see it. Now he's taunting me. What are they doing? I don't know. 